Do you struggle when people are doing a net spin on you in singles? This is the video you could watch to improve your net lifts. Three out of four of you guys watching haven't hit the subscribe button. When we reach the 50,000, I promise to do a giveaway for you guys. So go and hit the subscribe button and let's reach this milestone together. Oftentimes in matches, our opponent get to the net and do a beautiful net spin. It's super difficult to lift on uh, such shots, but we're gonna talk about how to do it in this video, how to lift on a net spin. Once my opponent does a net spin, the shuttle twists and turn in the air so it's super difficult to do the net lift a key thing actually to remember here is not hitting straight on the shuttle because when i do that i'm not able to control it it might like go far out far to the right far to the left i can't control it there are two ways on how to do a net lift one of them is when you meet it early once you meet the shuttle early so that's kind of like this area I would recommend you to more brush on the shuttle so your grip is more a pan grip and then you brush the shuttle so once the spin comes i'm brushing it and trying to pull the shuttle upwards to get it but only when i'm meeting it early so i'm using the pan grip meeting it quite early and brushing the shuttle up on this shot I'm not getting that much height, but you can see I'm still putting my racket from down to up, but using my pen grip to brush the shuttle. It's still super difficult to control, so I'll aim here for the center and then it might move a bit to the side, but the most important thing is here to neutralize your opponent. On the other hand, when I'm meeting the shuttle on a low area, I would use actually a big swing, trying to get the shuttle up in the air with a basic forehand grip. The most important thing, as I mentioned in the beginning, is to hit the shuttle basically on the side. So when you look at what the professionals are doing on TV, try to listen to the sound when they are getting it low. It's almost like a slice sound. It's a super high sound. And that's because they're hitting it basically on the feathers and getting that very, very big height on their net lift. So I'm getting it here, trying to pull it up with a big swing. Again, I'm not focused on my placement that much. Listen to the sound that you kind of get a more or less a slice sound on the, on the shot. Here we go. I'm having a relaxed grip and basically doing a basic technique, but I'm waiting for the spin to get out of the shuttle before I'm needing it. And sometimes the spin is just too good, but oftentimes if you do the waiting, you can manage to do the lift. So there are a few ways to do this exercise for the feeder. One of them could actually be me. The one doing the exercise is doing a drop shot to the net so my feeder can go and do a backhand spin. That's one way of doing it. The other way, as we are doing in the video here, is throwing the shuttle. So what I would do as a feeder is having it with these three fingers, as you see here. And basically, I'm spinning the shuttle backwards. So that's where you get the spin. As, as we see here. So by the three fingers, we're just spinning it backwards uh, and then you actually get that spin on the shuttle. So that's how you would do as a feeder. Lifting on a net spin is tricky. We've talked about when you meet it early, how to brush the shuttle. And when you meet it late, doing a big swing, like pulling the, the shuttle upwards. It's very important again that you hit the shuttle on the side and not on the cork tip because then it's a bit difficult to, to control, I would say. But it's about practicing and sometimes you also just need to accept that your opponent did a great net spin which you probably can't lift and that's also all right sometimes. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,